What is the number one reason for your startup to become slow when you start to grow? This is the question that I will answer this week. My name is Luis Gonzalez and it's a pleasure to be here with you. So, you are a founder or a leader of a new startup, right? You think you are a startup, so most probably you are already a company that is modern, it's digital and is optimized for the digital era. But to be honest, I disagree with you. So, think a little bit about it. If you think about it, the way how you build a company in today's world, it's exactly the same way as we built companies 100 years ago. Don't you think that it's a bit strange? So, today we are building a company that should be fast, centered, customer centric, we should be able to get feedback really fast, and we are using the same principles and the same way of building a company as we were building 100 years ago, where the purpose was cost efficiency, it was a company that was optimized for cost reduction. Today, you are building a company that is optimized for speed. But you see, the way how we build it today, it's exactly the same way how we built it 100 years ago. This is completely wrong. And that's why your company, when it starts to grow, becomes very slow, because you start to insert functional departments, you start to put layers of management, you start to put control requirements, budgeting procedures, all this bureaucratic stuff that was needed and it's needed in most probably companies in the manufacturing area, like the ones 100 years ago. But in today's world, if you are a digital company or building digital products, you need to structure your company in a completely different way. And that's why your company starts to grow and becomes very slow. If you want to know more about it, we run a weekly webinar where we teach you the five pillars to build fantastic digital products. Subscribe the webinar and visit me there, check it, and let's have fun together. Thank you so much.